tree Yggdrasil feed from the well of Mimir. I am close. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face! Oathbreaker! I did to you what you did to my son! This is only fair. And Sutungar? What of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead! For the safety of my people, Loki! For Asir! For Vanir! For all of Asgard! But not for Jotnar! Not for me! You let the Jotnar into Asgard! So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son! He was not safe here! They knew what he was, and knew what he would become! Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth! That is the truth now! But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom! Release him, Harvey! Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here and now! You are out of favors, Trixer, and you are welcome to try. The you might be the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one! This time, Loki! You have gone too far! I wait till Ragnarok when you can die now. Let's see if you fight as well as you lie! I will feed your corpse to Fenrir! You meant to have me killed! I will never forgive that! Curse you, Loki! We were like brothers once! Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! <laughs> of the world tree Yggdrasil feed from the well of Mimir. I am close. Gone. To who knows what mischief. But I will not see him again soon. Probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? 
Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain and remember. Wise Mimir, keeper of the well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asi. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. Gunlur the wand of chaos and change. I would know the cost. Azir blood will infuse this water, and the poor humans of Midgard will be forever altered. What happens then? None can say. This is what the others feared. But then they always cared over much for vermin. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the World Tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your Hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew. Into a new world, birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue? Your hand, your sight. I would give all that and more. Sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the World Tree will remember them. And you? What is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again.
is done. Now to ask God to save my people.
Come, settle your mind and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Valka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a mead of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this mead, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt, till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes, as promised. Thank you, Harvey. I... Uh, I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svatalpheim. Our mountains. To free the Earth's riches. For this is what I know best. Even Thunder's fury won't weaken my will.
Tyr! Are you near? No! You're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it, then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes, Dweller of the Fence. An apt name for his current fate. Henry! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? to be afraid of, old friend. Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the collar. I'll return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Be swift, Harvey. It burns! Harvey?
speak in riddles. The home of the gods turns red. Red with gold. Javi, you're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? Regrettings, would it... He did, yeah? Tandre!
of storms. An age of wolves. Where did you hear these words of prophecy? Night in the cold and dark, before I sleep and dream of tasting your flesh. <laughs> 